Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, the Sykov pistol has been added to Warzone as well as Modern Warfare because it is a Modern Warfare gun. One of the biggest issues that a lot of people are running into is that they're not able to unlock it. The challenges aren't tracking. As we've covered in the past, I was able to get lucky enough to randomly unlock this um, prior to them adding into the game, and that progress has held over. So I still have the weapon, and for whatever reason, even though it says it's level one, it has allowed me to actually level up the gun a little bit and do some of the challenges but the progression has halted i don't know if they went through put a hot fix through so they made it so it couldn't keep leveling but as you can see here i did level it and i have done legitimate camo challenges on top of that i've had the chance to test various attachments and like a lot of the akimbo pistol meta we're pretty much going to have the same loadout i'm going to go ahead and talk about the damage profile real quick ttk shots to kill so you kind of have an idea of where this fits into the meta and why this is going to be broken you're going to want to unlock this as fast as possible um, if you're going to be playing warzone just because it's that disgusting if you enjoy the video learn something new please do me a favor hit the like button and if you're brand new want to find your way back to stay up to date with call of duty content make sure you are subscribe with notifications on so for the damage profile it's actually pretty easy that it's a modern warfare gun because i'm able to jump into a private match have all the various attachments available have another person jump in with me do we do gunfight put the health bars at the top we shoot move shoot move shoot move eventually once we got the damage values for the limbs the stomach the head the chest we log all those down and then we jump into kill confirmed with uh, health points we change the health points so that they're different values a little bit complex there very simple once you actually know what you're doing um, and then as soon as you get a kill at a various distance that's how you detect the distance in meters so these two tasks combined can generally give us how much shots can take to kill based off the damage and then at what ranges those shots to kill exist and then we can figure out the time to kill based off the rate of fire which we go in again private match everything's unlocked we have the 80 round mag as well as the barrel attachment that converts it into fully automatic which is amazing for tactical sprint users auto attack sprint uh, and then you have to unlock a kimbo but obviously in private match we already get that unlocked so pretty much what all that's all said and done we plug it in and we end up with the values luckily i had covered the secondaries prior to this video so i already kind of had a bunch of the damage values plugged in and what we can see right here the Sykov pistol has the max ammo of 80 obviously you double that when you go with kimbo so you can burn through bullets pretty quick but 80 is plenty the damage values when we talked about the Sykov initially i said they had to be less but even if they were did half the damage of the current pistols in the game, they would still be overpowered. There's not really a way to balance these uh, in their current state. And I don't really think they're going to ever fix them other than maybe they just make the damage value so short. Instead of 11-ish meters, it'll be closer to like 4 or 5. Um, so that's where it'll actually excel. But beyond that, not so much. Hopefully that gets fixed. But you can see the damage values here. 27, 23, 19 for limbs, same for the stomach. The head and the chest share the same damage, which is kind of weird. I don't know if that was their attempt to balance it. I don't know what their thoughts are on that. But it does 35. After 11 meters, it drops down to 29. After 20 meters, it drops down to 24. That's how it pretty much works in Modern Warfare. But typically within Warzone, they tend to drop off that last damage value. So you kind of just end up with the first two. If we plug in the damage value for 27 into 250 health, it ends up being eight. Uh, it ends up being 10 shots to kill. If you end up with the chest TTK headshot TTK, it ends up being eight shots to kill. So more than likely, on average, you'll end up with nine shots, uh, give or take. It kind of balances back, but somewhere in the mix there, if you're aiming for the chest, you'll likely end up with eight to 10 shots to kill. That gives us a TTK of five. Uh, 45 and that is in the single pistol not, not, not semi-auto but fully automatic 80 round single pistol um, and you can see how that compares to the TTKs of, of these various things here so it's faster than the Renetti um, even though they nerfed it the, the damage drop offs are weird with the Renetti and the Diamatti now but the Sykov when you put that in Akimbo it gets down to 273 and this can get even lower so if I drop this down to eight, like let's say you get the perfect TTK because you land a bunch of chest shots. The 477 is right around where the, the FFAR kills right now. So imagine in a Kimball, it'll do it in half that. 
So that's kind of how that part works. One thing I will cover with you is the fire rate was unchanged or unaffected by changing out the trigger if we have it in fully auto. So that one's primarily for a semi-auto function, which I don't think anyone will ever use just because of how broken this is. Obviously, you can go 80 round. Maybe you put on an extended barrel. Maybe you get up to 20. So there's other variables, but I think the vast majority are just going to go with the 80 round mag, akimbo, with the fully automatic barrel just because that's kind of how it works. Probably a monolithic suppressor, five milliwatt laser, and that's kind of how it works. So we'll take so a look at that This is kind of what I was talking about with the build. Uh, pretty much these kind of are limited on your options. You don't really need the trigger action. If you want to have faster sprints of fire, technically you could go with this one that is kind of like a stippled grip, the Priz Rack uh, VLK. Uh, it's going to help with the aim down sights, sprint of fire, aim down sights irrelevant. Uh, and then we want a little bit of extra range. We can go with the monolithic since it only helps uh, hurts the uh, aim down sight speed, which doesn't matter. We'll get damage range and a little bit of suppression, which is negligible. Maybe you go from 11 up to like 11 and a half, 12 meters, um, because it's usually about a 10%, 15%. Hopefully difference. they do fix the challenges. Hopefully they allow you to level it up and it's just not another bug where they remove it and bring it back. I wasted double XP tokens. I leveled it up to like 12 or 13, even though it still says one, and it didn't track beyond that. So hopefully you guys have better luck if you enjoyed the video, learned something new, please do me a favor, hit the like button. If you're brand new, want to find your way back, double check, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. Appreciate y'all supporting the channel. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.